you called your shot. While winter weather can keep many people inside, the birds and other wildlife have no choice but to endure the conditions and go about their daily lives. With some wild weather hitting the Midwest, we went out in the snow to see what birds we could find on a walking trail. Hey everyone, this is Ryan from Badgerland Birding. Today Derek and I are taking a walk in the wintry conditions that we have. We've been getting some really crazy weather in Wisconsin this year with a lot of snow, some freezing temperatures, and now a little bit of melt with some more snow. So we're going to see what kind of birds are out here today. Yeah, there's been a lot of cool stuff just kind of around the trail. A lot of geese flying over, cardinals. So I'm going to try to specifically do some photography today. This is the Olympus OM-1 with 300 millimeter lens. So maybe we can get some cool shots. Ryan's on video, I'm on photos, see what we get. Armed with our gear, we started walking the slushy trail. Almost immediately, we spotted a species that isn't typically thought of as a winter bird. Saw some robins fly over, so that's kind of an interesting bird to see during the winter. Some of them do definitely stay around as long as they can find enough food, but that was still kind of unique. Hopefully we can get some views of some of those later if there's more around. And other than that, I'm thinking we're going to find a lot of the usual suspects, like chickadees and cardinals. But seeing those in this cool weather is still neat. Uh, but maybe we can even find something that's a little bit out of season. We did indeed spot some common winter birds in the region, including northern cardinals, house sparrows, and dark-eyed juncos. While these birds were common, the weather conditions were somewhat uncommon. The situation right now with the weather and the snow is that we got a lot of snow when it was a little warmer out, so the snow was really wet, so it stuck to everything. And since we got so much of it, it made these big clumps on the trees, and then in the days after, it froze. So it looked really cool, but it was really heavy on the trees. So a lot of branches and even entire trees just toppled over. And even now with it starting to melt, big clumps are falling down. So if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, you get nailed by some falling ice or snow. With snow continuing to fall from both the trees and the sky, we made it to a place with a lot of bird activity. Made it to this area on the trail that has a feeder set up and there's a lot of birds there. It was kind of funny because I think I got like three or four different species visiting in like a 10 second span. So that's pretty cool. And the birds, especially in these wintry conditions, are going to flock to areas where they can still find food, especially when there's a blanket of snow covering their usual sources like seed. So this is kind of a gold mine for birds this time of year. Due to the food source at this location, it proved to be one of the best spots on the trail to see a multitude of different species. However, even with a lot of birds present, other challenges made photography difficult. This is a little tough for photography today because the lighting's not that great. So if it was brighter, that would definitely help get some clearer, well-colored images. But today everything's going to look a little bit dull. So that's a little tough, but the snow is nice. You can get some cool images, uh, but it does sometimes focus on the snow instead of the birds. That can make things a little tough. We continued on until we noticed some birds on the ground tucked behind some bushes. It turned out that this spot was great for some of the out-of-season species we were hoping to find. We're at this area that I'm going to dub now the spring bird spot on the trail because we got a robin perched up and then there's a white-throated sparrow in there. So these are a few species that will stay here all year, but they obviously become a lot more numerous as the weather starts to warm up and everything starts to thaw out. But it's really cool to see them here in this weather right now with all the snow covering the ground. In addition to seeing the robin and white-throated sparrow here, we also spotted morning doves, more house sparrows, and loads of northern cardinals. It's very obscure cardinal in there. He doesn't look like much, but a little red blob. Moving on from our spring birding hotspot, we had encounters with a few more year-round residents of the state. Got a few more birds, got a white-breasted nuthatch, which has been calling. You might even hear it now, actually, in the background. And then downy woodpecker. So, like I said earlier, a lot of the more normal stuff for here, but we have had a few birds that are a little out of season. Additionally, we had a run-in with an impressive amount of a species we had seen earlier. We had a group of robins fly into this tree. So there's probably one, two, three, four, five, like 15, 20 robins just in this tree. It's interesting to see them in such a big group. Do they know what time of the year it is? No. Do really? they care? They have no idea what's going on right now. There's also some 
geese flocks around here. We, I always look for snow rosses, white fronted, but it's normally just Canada. After checking out the robins, we made it to a creek, marking our turnaround point. Now we're gonna kinda go back the way we came. Maybe get some better views of things we saw earlier. Maybe the white-throated sparrow will be out a little bit more. We'll have to see. As it turns out, Derek was absolutely right, as not only one, but two white-throated sparrows gave us impressive looks. You called your shot. Yeah, we got some nice white-throated sparrows. That was definitely like the, the bird of the day. There's two of them perched up really nice and they gave really nice views. I mean, did not care that we were here. We are making the little vocalizations. Not the traditional White Third Sparrow song, but the little call note. With the light starting to fade, we made our way back and called it a day. Well, it's starting to get dark out and it's getting a little colder and a little windier, so we're gonna call it quits. I would say that was a fun walk, totally worth it to see some of these species in the snow and just always fun to be out birding. The white-throated sparrows were definitely the thing that like made it all worth it. Like just to get some nice pictures and views and hear those little call notes. Um, you never know what you're gonna see when you just kind of go out like in a neighborhood. So it's always good to go out and see what you can find. While some people despise the winter weather, there's something fun about experiencing the elements and finding birds in the process. There's sure to be more crazy weather on the horizon, but until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.